Hello everyone and welcome back to the Wims tribe here in the jungles where they have lived for so many generations and we are going to be picking right up where we left off last time so if you are confused about what's going on do please check out the previous episodes in the playlist linked in the video description and if you are very desperate and you really want to know more about how the Wims work and their amazing 557 days of adventure that they have had here then do please check Check out the amazing wiki that has been managed by so many of our fantastic fans. I am still so impressed and so proud. I can't wait to dive into that wiki, make it look nice, add more to it, hopefully starting in the next year. And let me know what you think about that. I'm really uh, eternally grateful for the work that has been done over there and it will help any of you who are confused out with figuring out who's who and how the tribe has come this far because they are quite amazing. And today is going to be a dramatic day, as you guys know, because we are picking up with Rala entering her elderhood. She has two days left to live, and I think she only is going to have enough time to have one baby more, I think, which will bring her grand total of children up to three. And I am really going to miss her because she is, at least in a, the current memory of the Nishling gods, the only female, or like the only Nishling who has been born with those mega horns in a long, long time. But this island has really yielded a lot of toxic body Nishlings, so I'm glad we came here for sure. I don't think we had toxic body in the family so strongly before we came here, but I'm afraid the Nishling God's memories are a little fuzzy after 500 days, so if that's happened before, I apologize. However, I'm very excited to see what children she will have now and who will inherit the tribe, because with the passing of Rala, we are going to lose the ability to have 17 Nishlings in the tribe, and we could end up with as few as two allowed. And with our plans to potentially leave this island because we have been here for almost 100 days, and because the frog-legged toxic body nichelings want to leave this hot land, and they want to head towards rumors of a world more suited for their type that have been passed on, broken and fragmented as a legend to Tanu, who is the one, I think, kind of leading the charge at convincing all of the frog-legged toxic body nichelings that there might be a better land for them. So we're going to be headed out to the swamp area as soon as we can get there, with, which, with so many of these toxic frog-legged nichelings, may not be very fast, but we're definitely going to try to take Orin because he is our beautiful blue underwater swimming nichling, and there's just something gentle and exploratory about his personality I really like, and the nichling gods seem to have an interest in him because after he was born, they gave him, not only did I get to pick Tailfin as his mutation, but the Nishlin gods gave him gills, and he already has gills, so I can't help but see that as a sign that he is supposed to set out to establish a strong swimming line of Nishlings in our family tree, which is something that we've never really had before and would be quite useful to exploring from island to island. If we had enough food or could just gather up food from the edges of the shoreline, we might be able just to swim from land to land until we finally stumble upon the genes that we are still missing, which little Rora, uh, who we will look at in just a second, will help us see, because we're really mostly missing any of the genes to do with being in hot lands and any of the genes that have to do with uh, being hidden in the ice. So hammer tail, mammoth foot, digging trunk, saber tooth fangs. I, I really want to try to unlock all of these genes with the whims before the next update comes out for niche in sometime in the early part of next year. So I'm really excited. There's going to be bat wings and there's also going to be a console command, a cheat that will allow us to change the age range. So it will allow us to change how long a nicheling is a baby or is a child or is a teenager or is an adult and I think we're going to use that with the whims so that maybe we have a little bit longer with our elders in particular because their lives tend to go by just so fast so with all of that in mind we are looking here at little baby Rora. That is now his name. He was born with gills, so I think this is a sign that we should definitely look to swimming to the new lands. And I really feel that Rala, as the elder leader of the entire tribe, forceful, inspirational, very nurturing, 
I don't think she regrets not having more children, even though she is very nurturing. But I think that's also because I don't know if she really comprehends the fact that she has approached the end of her life. She, being such a forceful personality and so inspirational, she reminds me of one of those nichelings who just always seems young, very young, and it would be a shock to the tribe to lose her. So I'm, I'm really, I'm studying myself and I wish that there were some sort of like fruit of life or like a little spring. I would really love that actually, if you could have like a little fruit that would give your nichelings another, another day, another day. That would make me very happy actually, if you could have a uh, time kind of go by, if they had some sort of super health fruit or some sort of spring of immortality they could sip from and they could have like half their life back uh, so you had longer with them. Uh, but I always feel, I mean, Rala, uh, I'm gonna miss her basically, and I always feel that with nichelings that we're going to miss. But all right, meanwhile, up here, we have Iris, who is getting older too, and she is quite happy to finally have some companionship with Ronu having shown up, and her son Rokirta, who is another guild nicheling and quite the adept fighter and fisher, I might say, has finally returned. So Ronu and Iris are getting on in age, but I can't help but feel they're sort of maybe glancing at each other or at least good companions, because Ronu is willing to finally help her gather this abundance of food that the tribe could have been thriving on if only Iris had had a little help. And Kiravanro uh, ended up running after Rala because he just fell in love. And I thought that was a very sweet story too. So I don't regret it, but it does make it a little harder to gather up food. All right, and Jip? I feel like Jip's pretty happy with his life. But maybe he's a little curious about all this noise about moving to a new land. So we might have him come and join us just to see what's going on. Because he's not exactly gathering an abundance of food by picking up a coconut now and then. So we'll have him come join us. And then Rokirku. Rokirku, Rokirku. I feel like he's mostly chasing bunnels right now and kind of exploring the jungle. Uh, so we'll have him kind of bounce around. I love his spots and I'm not sure if we want to keep his line. He doesn't have very high fertility. I can't check his genes because that's part of our challenge. He is a pretty good fighter. Hmm. We'll think about it. All right. And here we go. You guys ready? I'm so nervous because we're going to have to roll for a new leader and pick one soon. Oh, I can do this. We've got this. The 100th day on the island is here. And look at little Aurora's cute little chin. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. I love it. Also, is that a danger plant? That is not. There is a nicheling behind us. There is a nicheling behind us. And her name is Sis. Hello? I'm not. Go I guess I could invite you temporarily into the tribe, but I don't think I'm going to. Uh, because, like, I need. I, I can only have 17 members at a time. But hi, I think that little um, Larila will pull her little brother over and Rala will settle down into the nest. Oh, this is her final moments. And we'll go ahead and she'll she'll impart her wisdom on her daughter, Larila, who may end up leading the tribe. We'll have to see if that happens. But Larila is going to stand here with her mother and watch over everything. And Kirovan, I think, would try to gather up some food. That's a danger plant, though. Be careful, Kirovan. We'll have him come over. He'll get a little bit of food here in the interest of trying to feed uh, Rala, who he has indeed fallen for. Poor, poor Kirovan. I mean, I, I think he'll be happy that he at least got to have two children with the, the nicheling that he fell in love with. I think that's a nice thing. All right, who got leached? Is it you, Oren? Who got leached? Oh, it died because he has toxic body. How convenient. All right, we'll continue the grand exodus with all of these nichelings. Cyrus, you can go ahead, come this way. And then we have Izana. They're so slow. <laughs> so slow, come on, Oren. There we go. Nugget, you're gonna waddle your way with the rest of the group. And I think that Tonu, he feels a little too old for this. I think he's he's just content to kind of live out his final days over here. I really love his chocolate chip mint coloring though. I'm gonna miss that. Uh, but we, okay, oh, th I mean, this is, this is like kind of the moment, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, who are you? Mila, welcome. 
there's just a bunch of females that have appeared out of nowhere who who don't have like the best of traits huh but i wonder if that's good we can imagine that rokirku might be able to find a mate of his own so let's have him start fighting his way through the grasses and then maybe he'll come and find one of these females to have as a mate uh i don't think ronu is interested personally uh, and I think Iris is okay with sharing, but it is a little bit of a shock to her. Like, what on earth? There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and he'll gather some. Holy cow! Look at all the bundles! They just appeared out of nowhere. We'll have her son, like, help out a little bit. And we'll gather some of those. Nice! Alright, and meanwhile, Rokirta's best friend is actually Kiro here. And we'll have Kiro come over and help out. Oh, and Kiro actually has a really cool Berina claw, I just noticed. So I wonder if Rokirta and Kiro are constantly like challenging each other to gather the best fish. And that's why they've been scratching and trying to get at these Razorina for quite a while. While they are digging off of the edge of the waterfall. Oh, I'm really, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm really gonna miss them. It's always so hard when we come to the end of a tribe, uh, or at least a, a tribe leader's legacy in the whims because I don't know who's going to take over and how many nichelings we're going to be able to keep with us. But the moment is upon us, my friends, and it is time to find out. And the answer is... Rala. Rest in peace, Rala. And you have left behind such a beautiful daughter who's very strong. <laughs> She left behind very, very strong children, actually. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And unfortunately, only Rora has the best fertility. So who are we going to pick? Is it going to be one of the children of the current tribe leader? Is it going to be a different nicheling entirely? Is it going to be Orin? Let's find out by finding out what the nicheling gods have decreed the next tribe size shall be. And the answer between the numbers of 2 and 20 is 16! <laughs> I am so relieved! I really thought it was going to be like 2. Again, for a while there we were getting like 2s and 3s and 4s non-stop. But 16 I can totally live with. And I think I'm going to actually make the tribe leader Lorila. So the Nishling gods are interested in how she will guide her siblings and the other interested Nishlings to the next land. That is definitely what's going on here. I am so relieved. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. So we can have 16 members, which is more than we even have right now. Uh, oh no, did Sarisi? Sarisi died. Orin. Oh, I think that he, he would have stayed if he had known that she was so old. So that's quite the blow to, to his life. Izana will come down and like follow along with Orin as they continue. I don't think Izana's going to make it over to this port, uh, but we'll see. She's just way too slow. We'll have to see what happens. <laughs> but uh, Izana is over here to comfort Orin and let him know that it will be alright because he has lost the nicheling who raised him and who encouraged him to go and seek out a new and better land for his unique body type and his unique self. I really feel that Sanyisi was pretty... I, I, yeah, maybe a little bit... She always struck me as a nicheling who was a little bit uh, tacturn, very practical, didn't really have a lot of words of praise or affection to offer, but she saw things through a practical light and did want the best for Orin, who she had come to raise after his mother passed away when he was so young. And she really hoped that these rumors that Tanu was sharing with everyone were true. And there's a better land, especially for such a unique nicheling. Given the ability to swim underwater, given such beautiful blue coloring, clearly he has called for something different than the other nichelings of this land. And so we'll go ahead and he will continue on. Even though I think that his heart is, is hurting a little bit, he will carry on and get a little bit of a, a head start. I don't think Nugget's going to make it either because frog legs are just so slow. And Tanyu is just happy. Happy little old man with his own little tree right there. But we're going to begin and continue the exodus. And I also know Jip is not going to make it. So we're just going to let him go ahead and get comfy. Uh, I think he's going to take on this, this little the plant and gather up its fruit. 
So he is going to get comfy. And that does mean that our two young guys are going to be able to go. I am so happy. We will be taking Rokirtha and Kiro with us. They are going to swim down here and splash right in front of Larila, ready for adventure as they come to see what the heiress to Rala's line asks of the Wims tribe. So let's go ahead. Iris is just a happy little old lady. I don't think she wants more children at this stage in her life. And, you know, she's just quite content to have uh, somebody like Ronu help her out and share a passion for gathering plenty of these wonderful nuts that this tree has always provided. And she'll encourage her son to take one of those nuts on his way out. And Kiro is going to go ahead and race. He'll be like, last one there is a rotten berina. There we go. And they'll race down the waterways. Uh, don't drown, by the way, Kiro. They'll race down here to arrive to where the new tribe leader, the young Larila, is going to hopefully be able to guide. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, is this a port? <clears throat> is going to be able to guide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the nichelings to new lands. So with that in mind. We're actually going to have her step this direction and start clearing things away. And I think she would encourage her little brother to gather some food with their father. Uh, and Kervanru, he will help start protecting the babies and clearing the land. Oh, I think I almost fed him to a plant. Whoops. He'll start protecting the babies and clearing the land so that they can find their way to this new island where the scent, I think, would have caught Lernila's nose and, and really made her curious about what lies over there. And I think her mother's adventurous nature may have had an influence on her, but actually we need to roll for her character traits, so let's do that right now. She is forceful, optimistic, and judgmental. Huh. So I think she has some of her mother's forceful personality, which is why she can even wrest control away from- I, This isn't her father, but like her stepfather or like her mother's mate, basically. Uh, if she is also optimistic, I think she sees the benefit of trying to explore new lands and wants to head out to try to do that. And if she's judgmental, I don't know if she would wait. For some of the slowest nichelings like Izana to catch up. I think that with that forceful strong personality that really believes in uh, not holding the tribe back, I don't know if she would allow slow nichelings to actually catch up with the tribe. If she's ready to go and like Nugget and Izana are still all the way back here, I don't think she's gonna wait. I think that she's a little judgmental. Every nicheling should be able to pull their own weight in this tribe. Huh. So that's gonna be an interesting twist on things. But all right, guys, we have got a new tribe leader for the whims. We have a happy little aging couple gathering lots of food over here. Having said goodbye, to, I don't think Rothir to realize he was saying goodbye to the, for the last time to his mother. But having said goodbye, Kiro and Rokirta, the two best friends, are swimming down, challenging each other to try once again to catch those Rezoina. Jip, I think, I just found a potential mate in Mila, who apparently likes raising bunnels in a nest, which is adorable. And we'll have to see if Orin and Izana are able to make it before we leave, and if Nugget, by some miracle, makes it too. So, we've got a lot to do, and I'm very excited to share the adventure with you next time. If you could, please leave a like to give some wonderful little berries to our wonderful new tribe leader. And if you have not yet joined our Nishling Pantheon, do please consider subscribing for this and literally thousands more adventures. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.